Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Reasoning Mantra and this is yet another important concept for verbal reasoning in which we'll be discussing alphanumeric sequence puzzle and what all type of questions can be asked based on this topic. So basically there are five different types of questions that can be framed on a given sequence of uh, alphanumeric uh, series. So let's have a look at the first type. So basically, what is meant by alphanumeric series? When we say alpha, it means alphabet. So as you can see on the screen, there's a series here. I'll be using a pointer to highlight it. So this is a series which you can see on your screen. And in this series, you can find alphabets like W, I, R, J, E, then M, T, V, H, A, F, Q, D, G, U S P. So these are the alphabets. In addition, you also find the numbers here. That is 4, 7, 2, 1, 9, 3 and so on. Plus you have some symbols here. Like you can see the sign of a percentage here. Then there's a hash sign here. You have a dollar sign here. So basically when we say alpha numeric series, it includes alphabets. It includes numbers. And it also includes symbols. So here we, we call these as elements. So every letter, every number or every symbol that is a part of the series is known as the element of that series. Now in type one of this type of questions, you have been given a sequence in which there are elements and you have to find the element which satisfies a particular condition that has been asked in the question. So if you have a look here, you can see a question, how many letters in the arrangement are there which are immediately preceded by a number? So you have to look at this sequence and you have to find out those letters which are preceded by a number. So there are certain terms that you need to know. Preceded means what comes before. Succeeded means what comes after. Vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U. And consonants are all the other letters other than vowels. So these are some common terms that you need to remember here. Now let us see how to go about this question. So I first find all the letters. We can mark all the letters here. So after marking all the letters, like I know the letter W, I, R, J, E, then M, T, B, H, A, F, Q, D, G, U, S, P. These are all letters. Now from all these letters, we have to find out those letters which are preceded by a number. So we see that J is preceded by 4. So this is the first letter preceded by a number. Then M is preceded by 7. The second letter preceded by a number. B is preceded by 9. A is preceded by 3. F is preceded by 9. And D is preceded by 5. U is preceded by 6. So how many letters in all do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So these are 7 letters in this particular series or sequence which are preceded by a uh, number. Similarly, questions can be framed in different ways. Like you may be asked like uh, a vowel which is preceded by a symbol or a letter which is preceded by a number and followed by a symbol and many more ways. So there can be different types of uh, language which can be framed for this type of question. But overall, the concept remains the same. So this is type one of the question. For more detailed practice, you can get access to our PDF. You can contact us on the WhatsApp number 9893639963 for getting a copy of detailed PDF for all the types of questions. Let us now discuss type 2 of the questions. Now in this type, it is required to find the element at a given relative position in a sequence. So what does this mean? Finding the element at a given relative position. Relative position means position with respect to some other element, right? So let us have a look at the question. Which of the following is exactly in the middle of the 10th element? middle of the 10th element from the left and 8th element from the right. So first we have to find out which is the 10th element from the left. We should know that this is the left hand side. 
and this is the right hand side like my right hand side will be beginning from here and my left hand side will be beginning from this side so from the left it is the 10th element so when i count 10 from left i reach m so this is the 10th element from the left similarly when i count from the right side this is the eighth element from the right now i have to find out the element which is exactly between m and q so i count the number of digits uh, the i count the number of uh, letters that are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so i know that when 11 are there then 5 5 on either side makes it 10 and the middle one would be the sixth element from any of the side so I, either i count 6 from here or I can count 6 from here and I get to the middle and this is our answer that is H. So this is again one type of question and uh, you can practice many more questions of the same type. At times they say that okay reverse the uh, sequence and then find out what is the position of, uh, which is the let us say 18th element or maybe the 7th element or reverse half the series. So these this type of questions can again be asked in a variety of ways. For type 3 questions finding the hidden pattern in a sequence so we have to find out what sequence is what pattern is hidden in a particular sequence so you have to find the hidden pattern in a sequence and you have to complete the series by forming a combination of the elements of the sequence so whatever pattern is hidden here you have been given a particular pattern you have to observe what pattern is this and then based on the same pattern you have to find out what should be placed here instead of that question mark what combination should be placed over here so how to go about this question so here your observation skills need to be very strong so first let us observe this r 4 q so uh, when we look at r we have a r here then we have e the, let us compare the first elements first r e and t so let us mark them here r e and t i find that we skip three positions and we reach the fourth one here again we skip skip three and we reach the fourth one here so that means we are skipping three letters so we skip one two three here and we reach the fourth letter here so what should be here the first letter should be b now talking about the second it's four seven and one so let us mark this four 7 and 1 so how many positions are we skipping here we are skipping three positions right so we 7 then we skip 3 to get 1 and again we skip 3 and we reach up to 3 so the second term here should be 3 and what about the third one let us pick a different color this time so that the things can be absolutely clear for everyone so we have q we have a dollar sign and we have h so let us find where is q so i find q over here then i have a dollar sign which is here so we are moving two place we are skipping two letters and moving to the, to the dollar sign and after that we have an h so we are again skipping two positions and we reach h so that means we will again be skipping two positions and we will reach out over here. So what should be the third letter? It should be 1. So this is our answer or this is the uh, sequence that should be terms that should be placed in uh, instead of the question mark that is B31. So you just have to observe the sequence and give the answer. So this was type 3 of the questions that can be asked on alphanumeric puzzles. Let us now move towards type 4. In type 4, we have to find a common property. So, what is the meaning of common property? Common property which combinations share. That means in one combination, what are the common properties? And then we have to find out the odd combination from the given set of elements. So, we have been given five combinations here based on this sequence. And we have to find out which is the odd one out. So, let us start with the first combination. Let us see what the pattern has to say. Percentage hash and 2 
so i find that first we skip three positions and again we are skipping three positions this is for the a part now for b part it's b dollar 5 so where is b let us locate b here so i find b here b dollar 5 so what are we doing here we are skipping three positions so that means it is the same as a so that means both of them uh, share uh, share the same combination now let us check with the third one that is t1b this is t this is 1 and this is b here i find that only one element is being skipped so this could be the odd one out here but still let us check with the d part also 3fg so i find a 3 here i find a f here and i find a g here again i find that three elements are being skipped so that means this is again in accordance with a and b part then talking about the e part it's m 9 a so where is m we find m here m 9 and a so again three elements are being skipped here so that means it is again in sequence uh m 9 it's a here okay so again it is in correspondence with a b d and e so that means c part is the odd one out here so these type of questions are again very common type of questions asked in various competitive exams the last type of questions that can be asked on the alpha numeric puzzles is find the analogical relationship between a given pair of combination of elements and find a combination which has the same relationship with the given combination so here you are given one combination as you can see on your screen this combination is given and this combination is incomplete so you have to complete this combination by filling in what should be placed instead of the question mark here so first what we'll be doing is we'll be studying the trend here so let us see what is what uh, the trend says it's r j and 7 so if we look at the number positions so this is the third position this is the sixth position and this is the ninth position then u d f so we have u here d here and f here so i find this is the third sixth and the ninth position from the back end that means the pattern what i observe here is that the corresponding positions of the from the beginning and from the end they are in relation with each other now let us talk about the second one that is ijm so where is i i find i here this is j and this is m so if i just connect these let us check with their positions this is the second position so this is the sixth position and this is the tenth position so let us check the corresponding positions here so the second position is for uh, will be for s then the sixth position will be for d and the tenth position will be for 9 so what do you think should be the answer it should be s d 9 so this is what should be placed instead of the question mark here i hope you found this video useful and if yes don't forget to share this with your friends as well and also subscribe to our channel and share this with more and more people so that we can grow together as a family thanks for joining me and see you soon with another important concept on reasoning